Hello, my name is Kim Labby. I am a third year film student here at RIT, but really, I'm like a fourth year student and five years of credits. It's weird, but it's okay. I'm having fun. I'm living life. We're in my house at undisclosed <laughs> location in undisclosed name street. the Academic Success Center, I am a co-host of Real Deal with Rocky, and I also edit. I am editing Rocky's interview, so you'll see that soon, that's gonna be saucy. And then I am also working on a new episode of Real Deal with Rocky, so that's gonna be a fun surprise. Keep your eyes peeled and open. I first learned it through the I'm First program, because I'm a first generation college goer, um, but I never really accessed that source. And then I really heard about it when Rocky came to me and was just like, hello, you're crazy, you're funny, you should be a host on this new show that I'm pitching. And I was like, okay. And then uh, Academic Success Center was like, we'll pay you too, and I was like, oh, and now I'm a full-fledged member. <laughs> uh, I just love how both as a co-editor and a co-host of the show that I make with Rocky, you know, I get to practice editing in real life, but it's also like a really creative outlet for me because in classes and stuff, we learn very technical stuff, or I'm editing other people's films, which like, I really enjoy, but there's different like stakes and there's different kind of expectations that come with that, but with Real Deal, while it's still very educational and it's still very important, I just love how everyone on that team has been very supportive of our crazy ideas. But yeah, no, it's just a great creative outlet for me and we get to make like fun short videos that like also educate. So, and we get to know like RIT community and reach out to them, so. So I was looking at a couple colleges in, in my youth, um, but I originally was an environmental sustainability health and safety major, going for that nice PhD, and so that's what I was originally looking around for. And my cousin Jeremy, uh, he goes here, he's a year above me, and he was like, hey, I go to a college, you should check it out. And I was like, okay. And so I went, and then I realized that they had a Quidditch team. And I thought, that's really cool. So I decided to apply to here because both the program and the Quidditch and I got in and I got a really good package and everything so I went and here I am now but I never joined the Quidditch team <laughs> because I'm not athletic as you can see. I wanted to like go into theater for a long time and acting but then I realized that I am camera shy and also I can't sing <laughs> so that was not a lucrative career but I loved like making films with my friends we had like a series in high school that we did for morning announcements and so then when I had like an existential crisis about my major like most freshmen do I was like what do I do now and then I was like oh, film who's your favorite person on the uh, ASC team well it's you <laughs> Rocky, not... Well, I like the viewers. Thank you for supporting our show. <laughs> but specifically, an employee of Academic Success Center is Rocky. I would say, I know it sounds very cliche, but do what makes you happy. Like, as in choosing a career and a major, because I was one of those people that had like the eight year plan, you know? I was gonna go for environmental sustainability, health and safety, I was gonna get my PhD, and I was gonna, I had like a career path set for me. And so I still love environmental, you know, science and being active in there, but I realized that specifically the jobs that were available, I wasn't passionate about. You know, if I'm gonna pay a lot and 
dedicate a lot of time into college. I want to do something that I'm passionate about and that even if I'm bone tired and I'm staying up till 5 a.m. in the morning making edits, uh, I'm still passionate about it and I still am like, I really love what I'm creating and putting out into this world. So if you feel like you're kind of stuck or like you're like, I don't know if this is for me, like don't be afraid to take that leap and like do something that you are really passionate about because that's the one of the few things that's going to drive you to succeed in life. <laughs>